Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys! I have a really special surprise for you guys today. So word around town was that this special pop was in the neighborhood. Actually, we found out on Instagram. And it's from one of my favorite collection sets. And it is The Office. This is Dwight Schrute as Belschnickel. So I'm super excited to open this up and share with you guys, share with you guys what the pop looks like. So let's get started. Oh, before I move on, this is the other pops that come in this set. Wait, I gotta tell the story. Now for the good stuff. So, I've actually been keeping my eye out for this particular pop ever since Funko announced that they were going to release it. I instantly fell in love with the design and I was really curious to see how deep into the detail they were going to go. And like all the other office pops, this one also has a special message. So let's see what Dwight Schrute has to say. The Belschnickel will decide if you are impish or admirable. Sounds just like Belschnickel. So let's get this baby out. And he slips right out. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. And good thing he comes in locks. He's nice and locked in there, nice and secure. Oh my God. Just wait until I spin him around. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys all the detail. I love how all the Dwight shoots they have his glasses on. Like, that look just doesn't go away. They really stay true to the actual character in the office. So this pop is not a bobble, but that's okay. Because the detail on this one is amazing. So I'll spin him around so you guys can take a good look at all the detail. He has nice branches on his hat. It looks like he's holding a whip. And it looks like a dangerous, rough bat looking stick. I'm not sure what he's holding in his left hand, but. Oh, it looks like it's a, a bundle of sticks. Okay, I'm going to take a quick look at him. So that's what he looks like on the bottom. As I said, he's not a bobble. That's okay, though. So it looks like in his left hand. Oh, okay. So he's holding like a little bundle of sticks and he has leaves and branches on the top of his hat. And then he has a little whip to, uh, I guess, whip everybody into shape. Thankfully, he stands up nicely. He doesn't move around. His balance is all nice and centered. And they made his hat look really big, if you can tell. <laughs> I mean, that's what he looked like just in the episode. So, I mean, it's perfect. His glasses look on point. His beard is on point. Um, if you haven't picked up this pop, go out and grab it as soon as you can. Or you won't be disappointed. Um, I'm really happy and I'm lucky that my husband was able to go out and grab it while I was at work. So as soon as I found out that our shop had it, I like, Sent him over to go grab it for me because I didn't want to miss out. I wanted to be one of the first to um, grab it, open him up and review it and share him with all of you guys. So this pop for sure did not disappoint. I'm very happy with this pop and very happy to add him to my collection. So that's it for today. I just wanted to make what? sure. What? You have another one. I have another pop. Shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I'm super happy. <laughs> okay, so this is the second pop my husband picked up for me and he psyched me. I thought that it, he didn't pick this one up for me. And this is actually the Michael Scott as Classy Santa. I'm super excited that he surprised me with this one. I swear this was a complete surprise. I thought he only picked this one up for me. And of course, this is the collection set that he comes in. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm super juiced that I got two pops today. I thought I only got the one. That's awesome. And just like all the other office pops, this one also has a message. So this one says, man, I work so hard for this and know who I end up owing this to is the Scranton Strangler. Thank you. Thank you, Scranton Strangler. I love you. You just took one more person's breath away. So if that line sounds familiar. I love how Michael Scott, he always makes up his own phrases whenever they're least appropriate. <laughs> I think that's what makes Michael Scott so special, <laughs> I guess you could say. So this one also comes locked in, which is awesome. So this pop looks dope. Not as much detail as Dwight Schrute as Belschnickel, but still, nonetheless, not disappointing at all. So, that's Michael Scott. This is the bottom in case you guys want to check that out. So, he's holding, um, he's not holding anything. He's actually just has his hand in his pocket. He's wearing a cool Santa hat. And he stands up real nice. Uh, he's not, he doesn't uh, need a stand or anything. Um, he's just looking cool as a cucumber. I really like this pop and I'm super happy to have both of these in my collection now. So that was a nice surprise. I hope you guys are surprised too. Um, so yeah, that was my find for today. Thanks to my husband. Um, super happy to add both of these to my wait, collection. Wait. What? You no, shut up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow, he really went through the trouble of hiding them. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we got another X-Men pop. The um Oh my god. It's the original um It's the first appearances. That's what it is. First appearances of Marvel Girl. So let me show you this pop. And this is um where um Marvel Girl made her first appearance. This is the first episode of the X-Men comic. So let's open this one up and check her out. So this pop slips out nice and easy. Oh, and she does have a stand. And she's a bobble. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Nice. So let's actually put her on the stand to see what she looks like. She might be easier to spin around. Well, actually, let's see if she... Yeah, no, she's not going to stand up by herself. So it's a really good thing that this particular pop comes with a stand because she wouldn't have been able to stand up on her own. So this is what Jean Grey looks like on her stand. Love it. See? So I'll spin her around so you guys can take a look at her. So this is the original X-Men suit that Jean Grey wore in the X-Men. And the detail on this pop is really good. Nothing too, too detailed or extravagant. Um, like I said, this was the first appearance, so there wasn't anything that was super elaborate about it. Um, I do want to show the detail on her hair. They did um, show the strands, which was nice. I like that about it. And the pop overall looks good. So the paint job is good. Um, everything about it looks awesome. So I'm really happy to get this pop as well in my collection to add to all my other uh, first appearances. So this is a good pop to add to the collection. So, is that it? <laughs> have any more surprises? Okay, so it looks like that's it for today. So, I hope you guys were as excited as I was to discover my new pops. Um, th okay, that was... No, you have one more. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's like Christmas. <laughs> Literally, that's how I feel when I open up my pops. I feel like it's... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end up making a whole show. <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> All 
right, so this is another pop that I was waiting to get my hands on, on on this particular collection. I'm super happy to get this one. This is uh, the Opera Singer Phantom from The Haunted Mansion. Super excited to get this one. <laughs> and this is the collection that she comes in. So yeah, this was, I think, yeah, this was, this completes my collection. So that's awesome. Super happy to get this pop to complete this particular collection set. So let's see what she has to show us. Love it already. Love, love, love. Okay, so this one does come with the locks in the holder but she wasn't locked in but thankfully she wasn't really moving around too much so that's okay oh my god the detail is super cute oh my god you guys are gonna love it okay so this particular pop is not a bobble but that's okay um so here she is miss opera singer singing her little heart away she has wings on her little helmet sorry i don't think that's the right word for it but anyways you guys get the picture I love the way they have her little braids braided and you can see she's deep in song she's pounding out one of those nice high tunes I'm sure and singing for all the spirits at the haunted mansion I'm really happy to receive this pop thank you love I love 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 this pop I love the fact that I completed one of my collection sets super awesome I have two other three other cool pops to add to my collection and um there you go now you can see them <laughs> so i'm super happy with my finds today um i hope you guys enjoyed the surprises just like i did it felt like it was christmas morning almost so um i'm really happy gal right now as you can see um i hope you guys enjoyed my little show um let me know which one was your favorite pop. Have you completed any of your collection lines? Have you guys already picked a Belschnickel or Classy Santa or even Jean Grey or the Opera Singer? Let me know in the comments below. And um, thank you guys for joining me for another one of my shows. Uh, in the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.